Guys, I just wanted to pop in in the beginning of this video and say that Mini Mayhem Fall 2019 was a blast. We had about 150 people show up from 16 states across the country. You all brought out some awesome projects that you will be seeing in the video um, in about two to three weeks. But yeah, just the sense of community and people helping one another with, with broken down projects is just like, I, you don't see that anywhere else. That's only something that you see at Mini Mayhem. People coming together, having a good time, and yeah, it is just, I don't know, it's just a great feeling. So thank you again to everyone who came out and we will see you in spring of 2020. Enjoy the video. What's up everybody, I'm John. I'm Ozzy. And on today's episode of Cars and Cameras, we are out at our favorite off-road playground. This is where we hold Mini Mayhem, our bi-annual subscriber meetup, and we have our Manco Dingo out here with the stock six horsepower Tecumseh engine. We're gonna do some testing with that, and then we also brought along a Stage 3 Predator 212cc engine with parts from gopowersports.com. We're gonna swap onto this go-kart and uh, see how much faster we can go around this uh, little motocross track and just see how the performance is, Im is improved in general. I'm convinced it's gonna be really slow. It's gonna get along just fine just because the tires are huge and fat, but I think it's gonna be slow. You ready? Okay. I'll yeah. meet you at the start line. Dude, it looks like it's getting, it's getting it. The bump, the carburetor doesn't like it. Okay, well it never does with this type of engine. Yep. All right, you ready for your timed lap? Yep. On your mark, get set, go. Yeah, it's moving out. Not bad, man. A 52-54. Alright. Alright, cut it off. Look up. Got oil on my hand. Uh, From the crankcase vent? Crankcase. It's got a lot of base pressure, dude. Hey, man. Have you ever, ever thought about... I know I have. Rebuilding a Tecumseh? Of course I've thought about it. I just don't know where With we can find parts for these things. Performance parts. Yeah, I know. Like, I wonder how much we can get out of one of these. Oh, dude, I'd love to do it to come to a uh, performance engine build. Yeah. Well, totally. We just need to find parts. So, if you guys know where we can find parts, high performance parts for it to come to engine, let us know in the comments. But I think for for, day, for today, we're going to do what we came here to do put a beefy Predator on it. But I mean, I, this it's a really good setup the way it is. Well, Maybe we can build one of these high performance and then put it back on. So this engine has been around the block. A few times. Yeah, it's been on a bunch of different projects. It's done all kinds of stuff and uh, we robbed the carburetor off it. So now we're putting a new carburetor adapter from Go Power Sports on this puppy. And now we're gonna be slapping a 22 on here because that's all we had at the shop. It really should have a 26. It does seem a little silly to take apart a perfectly good running uh, go-kart, <laughs> but we just want to go fast, so. So we're trying our best to not get foiled by having a fuel line that's just that much too short. So there was a line on top of the fuel tank for a fuel tank vent, and we're gonna see uh, if it's gonna be long enough to replace our fuel line. Gotta take the fuel tank off for that. And, okay, there we go. That bolt wasn't even tight. <laughs> So I turn around to see if there's any fuel line we could possibly steal off the Tecumseh. And when I turn back around, Ike's got it figured out. You the man. Crisis averted. Whoa. Yeah, we're running out. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Today, we are literally shade tree mechanics. Welcome to the club. That is all. <laughs> so 
So here's what's happening. This engine has probably never been off this go-kart and none of the bolts want to move. We've been fighting these engine bolts for, I don't know, 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. Four bolts, only one of them has turned. Um, and we just can't get in there with tools. So here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna put this thing back together with the Tecumseh six horse and we're gonna go have some fun. We're gonna save this engine swap for another day. Maybe we may not even swap it at all. We may just look into a Tecumseh engine build, but it's a beautiful day out here. It's quiet, there's almost no one else here. It's just begging to be ridden around. So I think that's what we're gonna do. That's fine, did you wanna to try to put a Makuni on here? Might as well just give it a shot. So because the engine swap isn't happening, we're gonna to try to do a 22 millimeter Makuni carburetor swap on the Tecumseh six horse. That's gonna bypass the governor, more top speed and we should gain a little bit of performance too. I really don't know anything about a Tecumseh engine, so I don't know what a 22 millimeter Makuni is gonna to do to performance. But let's just tell ourselves we're gonna get a boost. There's your 22, sir, from Go Power Sports. It is a 22. And I'm gonna say no. Well, it, it matches. But if you look, they are kind of moved up in the hole rather than in the center. Yeah. So, negative. Now we can try to uh, try the uh, intake. Oh, then, stick the whole manifold and stuff on there. Yeah. That might be worth it. All right, man, what's going on? Some, some of the worst jankiness I think I've ever seen us do. <laughs> That's not so bad, man. I mean, okay, the carburetor's cocked. And we do have two intake manifolds. Yeah. I think uh, we're going to be lucky if this runs the same as it did before. Should be better. Okay, should be better. We're going to try. All right, ready for a test with a Makuni carburetor? Dude. That is insane. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, so let's get this travel cable finalized and we're ready for a ride. Dude, boy. Feels better. Feels better? Awesome, all right. Can you beat 53 seconds? Yes, I can. All right. That's not banking, right? Not banking. All right. Are you ready? Yeah. On your mark? Get set, go! Yeah, it looks faster, I can't lie. Oh! oh he left the ground! Holy cow, he is moving! <laughs> Dude! That is insane. First off, I thought you were gonna die. Up there? Yeah. That was scary, dude. Uh, you almost went head over heels. Yeah. But that was like a 39. Holy cow! So, so, so hold on, Matt. That's like 14 seconds faster. 14 seconds on a carburetor swap. This thing is wicked. All right, let me try. Yeah. <laughs> Are you marked? Yeah. Get set, go! Carving it. Two. All right, what's the number? It was 42. Not bad. Yep. All right. Not bad. Thing is unbelievable with just a carb swap. I know, dude. It's wild. Like, I feel like we should build one of these that can just take this abuse just all day long. Mm-hmm. Maybe beefier tubing 
and just a beefier engine and that would just be like maybe the best off-road go-kart ever <laughs> yeah so let's uh tell the viewers how we did this yeah like it's a long intake yep. uh go power sports intake yep it's basically just what we had laying around that yep. i grabbed last minute this morning uh, 22 millimeter carburetor yep we have a 22 millimeter Makuni carburetor it's usually an upgrade for a car, uh, predator 212 with maybe a light cam valve springs billet rod billet flywheel um and yeah long uh long tube uh, I had to, intake i had to drill out the holes on the factory intake okay to oblong them so the intake would bolt up okay i think it's a victory where oil is getting everywhere yeah uh the engine needs a rebuild yeah but after this man i'm like let's keep this engine i know dude it's and let's winner. just build it yeah yeah totally all right cool well let's uh i don't know Maybe go through some trails or something? So Ike's topping the old Tecumseh up with oil. It actually blew a lot out of that crankcase vent, so maybe we do want to rebuild the engine sooner rather than later. But uh, we're going to take it and our pit bike out into the woods for some trails. Here we go. All right, dude, you did a number on this one, my man. I did. What do you recommend? Just a little bit? A little bit. Don't let it stall. I sent it. You want to trade and go back home? I'm ready for it. All right. Be careful. You lead the way. Where been at this bridge before that's where that kid almost drove off yeah uh if it was the same bridge it'd be a different bridge
almost got lost out there, dude. Honestly. What do you mean we almost got lost? <laughs> we kind of did a little I bit. I got lost. Yeah, I mean, like, all right, we've been here like a dozen times, and it just goes to show that I thought I knew this park pretty well. Turns out there's a ton I still have not explored. There's just so much to yeah. see. Uh, but, dude, the dingo is amazing. It is honestly faster than it probably should be. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, turned out not to swap the engine, and I am thrilled with the performance. I'm, I'm glad we stayed with it. However, did you notice how much oil we dumped out? Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah. So the engine needs to be rebuilt. Yes. Rebuilt. Maybe like high performance rebuild. <laughs> Don't tell everybody. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, man, what about that dirt bike? Dude, the dirt bike the, is good. The pit bike, the pit bike is, is good. awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so our two newest projects are like a ton of fun, turns out. <laughs> I'm glad we got them. Yeah, me too. Me too. Just a good day today out here riding and uh, yeah, just a nice break from just in the garage thrashing on stuff. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video today, guys. Subscribe to Cars and Cameras for future updates and help support our future projects by picking up a sticker or t-shirt or hat at cars-cameras.com. Got anything you want to say? Check me out at Isaac. It'll be fine. Perfect. Thanks for watching again, guys, and we'll see you next time.